kid here, you may have heard this too. So you want to see if the guy is really that smart, right? All right. So I'm going to ask him a couple questions. Number one, how much does it cost a year to go to Grand Valley College? About 25 grand. All right. That's the, that's the, that's the total cost. Everything, all included, $25,000 to go to Grand Valley College. Okay. Oh, who has a pen? I need a pen real quick. All right, now, does everybody remember what he said it costs to go to the school? What year are you in now? It's going to be my sophomore year. Sophomore year. So he's been there for a year, right? So he should know what it costs to go there, right? All right, he said $25,000. Let me add it up right quick and uh, see if, in fact, he, he's correct. I don't trust him, even though he's been there for a year. All right. Okay, now when I add it up, I got... $47,000 a year to go to Grand Valley. He said $25,000 a year. Let me add it again, just to be on the safe side. Room Lord, do you feel in I still come up with $47,000. Does anybody have any clue why he who goes there said $25,000? And I added all the costs up, and I got $47,000. How could there possibly be a $22,000 error? It, Maybe he knows. Would it be interest on loans? No. Would it be interest on loans? Would it be food? He, he, he got all this included. He got all that included. Well, what I say is that $25,000 is the actual wholesale price to attend Grand Valley State University. What I have up here with my $47,000 a year is the actual retail price to attend. What is the difference between his wholesale price and my retail price? How, how did I arrive at the actual retail price, which is the price you really need to focus on? Does anybody have any idea? Okay, the way I got my cost, the retail price is everything in life that we do requires what we call an opportunity cost. For every opportunity in life that we take, there is a cost for that opportunity. In the case of him going to Grand Valley, the cost for four years a year by year is that he has to forego employment. If he were graduating from high school this year, he could reasonably be expected to get a job where he could earn, on average, given some people will make more, some will make less, on average, he could expect with his new high school degree to make $22,000 a year. So he has to add that $22,000, which is the opportunity, that's the cost he is paying over the wholesale price to go to college. So the cost of college is room, board, tuition, fees, books, supplies, food, and foregone income. So when you add the foregone income, that's where I get the $47,000. Any opportunity you take in life means that you have to forego some other opportunity. You know, this is the reason why a lot of brothers don't like to get married. <laughs> because the opportunity cost is very expensive. <laughs> you see? So in order to marry Miss Westbrook, I have to give up Sally, Jane, Mary, and everybody else. That is a very high opportunity comes. So remember that every time you make a decision, you are foregoing something else in the marketplace. Okay? And those are those are real costs. And you'll see as we escalate forward how we get that real cost. Okay, why is it important to go to college? I like to focus on the importance of college. Particularly in this young man's lifetime and young men to follow him. Uh, because it determines all of your choices going forward. 
he will, in his lifetime, by the time he reaches the age of 40, he will probably have at least one job, maybe a career, that currently does not exist in 2014. Think about that. Think about how you would prepare today if you said, you know what, I really want to be a scientist, a doctor, something. Someone said, hey, by the time you're 40, you're going to be doing something that doesn't even exist in 2014. How does one prepare? How does one get ready for that? The most transferable uh, product in the world is intelligence. You can take an intelligent individual and train that individual to do all kinds of things. Eight out of every 10 companies that hire people, they will hire you because of your intellectual capital, your ability to simply just be smart. So that is the importance of college, is the ability to be prepared now and to be prepared for the absolute unknown. It's an important decision. I always tell people the two most important decisions that young people you will ever make in your life is where you go to school and who you marry. Because both of those decisions will follow you to the grave, for better or worse. You can't get away from them. They will determine a lot about your life. So you need to be very careful and very thoughtful when you make those decisions. The other reason is because it has bigger implications than you. And this young man will find out as he goes forward that there's a tremendous burden that lies on his shoulders. I'm a product of the 60s. So when I went away to college, the Illinois State University in 1968, I felt a deep commitment that number one, I was going for myself to be the best person that Ryan Anderson could be. Second of all, I was going for my family who had sacrificed everything for me to go. My father drove that cab from 6.30 in the morning till 7.30 in the evening in order for me to have that opportunity to go. So I felt like I had a tremendous responsibility to my family. Uh, I went to a church on the west side called Brotherly Love Missionary Baptist Church and this church reminds me in terms of size and composition very much of the church that I grew up on at Brotherly Love Missionary Baptist Church. And uh, I felt a real obligation to the people in that church. Because all the little old ladies there in particular, I didn't realize they really weren't that old as I look back. You know, some of them really weren't that old at all. Uh, who had always believed in me, bragged on me. I was their guy. They always thought I was way, way smarter than what I really was. And I'd like, there's no way I could let these ladies down. Because I know they would be back there at church on Sunday bragging on me. That's our boy down at Illinois State University. Blah, blah, blah. So I felt a strong uh, responsibility to them. I knew that for some of those people sitting there at Brotherly Love Missionary Baptist Church, that their dreams, aspirations, and hopes could only be realized through my achievement. So you have to understand that, young man, that there are people who their whole value and meaning of their life will only be justified by your success. That's a tremendous burden. You know, my dad was a very quiet man, but on the day that I graduated, he came up, he bear hugged me, and he said, son, you have made all these years of driving that cab.